Hello friends, welcome to my another video tutorial on sensors and instrumentation. Okay, and in my this video, I am going to give you the idea how you can detect the liquid level in a tank using ultrasonic sensor. Okay, so what is the fundamental working principle of ultrasonic sensor? Just let me give you one idea. That is uh, simple. So basically in this ultrasonic sensor, there are main two, two main parts. One is TX and another one is RX. Okay, TX means transmitter, RX means receiver. From the transmitter side, we send one uh, ultrasonic signal uh, that is high frequency, science, uh, high frequency sound wave, uh, which is not audible by human ear. Okay, and the signal will go and uh, will hit uh, any object. And that's uh, uh, some part of the signal will be reflect, will reflect back and that reflected signal will be detected by receiver okay so this is what about the uh, simple uh, ultrasonic sen sensor working principle is and now you may think how the distance in between sensor and object can be detected very simple uh, this principle also used in radar signal processing also okay see very simple idea when we are sending the signal from transmitter and it is coming back so if the distance between the sensor and the object is d then approximately the uh, signal uh, once it is going from uh, sensor to object and again coming back that means it is covering basically 2d distance right if the distance in between uh, sensor and the object is d then in, then in that case going to the object and then again reflect back it will uh, cover approximately 2d distance so 2d distance will be nothing but suppose uh, the sender has uh, from the transmitter side i send the signal in t1 second and i receive the uh, reflected signal in t2 second then the time gap in between t1 and t2 suppose t2 minus t1 that let us suppose that that is t so t into what is the speed in uh, speed of uh, sound wave uh, speed of sound in air that is 343 meter per second here you can see so basically uh, suppose let me write for the time being that as s so basically now uh, t we can calculate right uh, when we are transmitting we, we know and uh, as soon as we uh, receive the um, reflected signal we will measure the time so the time gap we can calculate the uh, speed of sound in air we already know so from that from this particular equation we can easily calculate that is d is equal to t into s by 2 that's what here it is written distance equal to time into speed of sound in air by 2 so in this way um, the uh, ultrasonic sensor is used to measure the distance in between object and the sensor okay same principle can be used to measure the liquid level it's very simple so here transmitter and receiver suppose transmitter transmits one signal and suppose the liquid level up to this particular one okay the black color uh, uh, in, is indicating the presence of liquid in the tank okay so this is my particular height in this particular instant okay now here what will happen we can easily measure using the formula uh, 2d equal to uh, time uh, into the speed of sound in air uh, using that we can easily calculate what is the d and here d is nothing but the distance between the sensor and the liquid level okay the top of the liquid level right so basically if we able to calculate this d and suppose the total tank uh, height we know as h then we can easily say this particular height is nothing but h minus d which is basically the uh, height of the liquid level in the tank right very simple and uh, suppose the liquid level changes then what will happen suppose the liquid level changes suppose um, liquid level decreased then it will take more time after transmitting the signal it will take more time to uh, uh, to arrive the reflected wave in the receiver side right basically again we can using the same uh, approach we can calculate this particular distance right so basically if the liquid level decreases in the tank what will happen the uh, time uh, to travel this particular sound sound wave will take more and if the liquid level increases in the tank it will take lesser time uh, to go from transmitter to the liquid level upper level of the liquid and then again reflect back to receiver okay. obviously this is uh, easily understandable thing right so using this way uh, we can easily uh, measure the liquid level uh, in a tank using the ultrasonic sensor and what is the major advantage of this you might already studied the capacitive liquid level sensor there you have to dip 
to uh, parallel plates in the liquid level and then we can measure the level uh, by measuring the change in the capacitance because if the liquid level changes the uh, epsilon r uh, is uh, epsilon r changes so as a result as we know that capacitance like for parallel plate capacitance c is equal to epsilon not into epsilon r into a by d so as epsilon r changes so capacitance in between this parallel plate will also change and as a result we can measure the liquid level using that uh, change in capacitance so basically in the case in the capacitive liquid level sensor we have to dip to parallel plates right that means we have to uh, put something inside the liquid but in the ultrasonic sensor nothing like that we are not uh, keeping anything in contact uh, with the liquid so that more accurate measurement of liquid level we can get using ultrasonic sensor so if someone asks you what is the advantage you must say like this there is no physical contact with liquid all right so this is one of the major advantage of the ultrasonic sensor in using liquid level uh, measurement and another one is very interesting that is it is applicable in both solids and liquids right so suppose capacitive um, sensor you are uh, putting in liquid easily by two parallel plates but in solids it will be difficult and uh, many other restrictions will also come like uh, the parallel plates may uh, get uh, some scratch and it may break uh, somewhere okay bend somewhere so as a result if the d between parallel plates also may change so in measuring the level of the solid the capacitive liquid level sensor capacitive level sensor is not a good idea but rather we can simply use the ultrasonic sensor because it is not coming in contact with the uh, uh, solid or liquid whatever we uh, whatever level we want to measure it is uh, situated above the level uh, above the container right so basically it is applicable in both solid and liquid this is another very very important advantage of the ultrasonic liquid level sensor and so due to these uh, advantages in industry most of the time to detect the liquid level ultrasonic sensor only is used okay and you can do several very good projects uh, using this ultrasonic sensor and arduino okay so this is all for my this video i hope you have understood the working principle of the uh, ultrasonic sensor and how it can be used to detect the liquid level or so, uh, detect the solid uh, material level in a tank okay so this is all about my this video if you find this video helpful please like share and comment uh, your if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section and this is all for my this video subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos thank you for watching